Princess Lauren coming at you today with her monthly favorites for the month of May. May the force be with you. <laughs> I just had to do that. So this is my favorites video for May. Nothing exciting about that, but it can be exciting if it wants to be. So we'll just dive right on in to my beauty favorites. My first beauty favorite happens to be the Pacifica Natural Skin Care Purify Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes. These are intoxicating. The scent is in freaking incredible. I usually do not, I'm usually not a fan of anything coconut scented. <laughs> but I absolutely love these wipes. This is my second package of these wipes, by the way, because I love them so much. And because they're gentle on the skin, you know, they're made for all skin types. And they smell amazing, if I haven't said that enough already. But excellent wipes. So Next, we're going to go into a nail favorite. This is CoverGirl's Out of the Blue Nail Polish. A very pretty blue, if I may add. And, yeah, it's just a blue that complemented um, some a nail art thing I was doing for an event I had to go to with a friend of mine. And I was like, I need to do a perfect blue for my British nail, my British nail, my British flag nail art tutorial. Eventually it failed. <laughs> but nonetheless, this blue complemented it really, really well. The blue was fantastic. I just really like it. Next is the pink wild and breezy body mist. This is an amazing. I love, love, love the smell of this. And <laughs> it's fruity scented, which is why I'm attracted to it. And it's just a really cool product. I just really like it. The next one is the Yes to Grapefruit Dark Circle Correcting Eye Cream. Now, I was hesitant at, buy, at buying this at first, but actually I really got hooked onto it. It took me a while to get hooked onto it. But overall, I really like it. It's not a bad product. And if you're looking for a good alternative to... to I'm just, I cannot think. The standard brand eye creams, this is a good alternative. Like it's a good all-natural brand alternative. Mm. My lip favorite is the Olive Lips Lip Balm in Refreshing Rosemary. I got this in my Ipsy bag this month. I just... I'm a sucker for lip products. I don't know what it is about them. I just am a sucker for them. But this lip product, the most moisturizing lip product I have ever used in my life. And it smells pretty good. So that's exciting. Now on to random favorites for the month. And the iPad 4 music favorites. <laughs> The first one is Come With Me Now by Congos. Come with me now. Come with me now. Oh, come with me now. I was hoping to now. Uh, just a little snippet. I remember off the top of my head. But anyways, this song. <laughs> the song is really, really good. It's something different than any other alternative song I've heard before. Which I first heard that song on my alternative station on Pandora. And yeah, it's an insanely interesting track if you're looking for something different than what you normally listen to. My favorite, my next one is the Mighty Fall by Fall Out Boy featuring Big Sean. <laughs> and one of my favorites off the record, Save Rock and Roll. <laughs> it's on my ultimate favorite because I have another ultimate favorite from that album. But um, Mighty Fall is one of my favorites off the record because it's a different style of what the band has done. I just really like the unique blend of rock and hip hop together. It works really, really well. <laughs> I just really like it. I get like so excited, like, ah, oh, this is my track. This is my jam. This is my strawberry. This is my grape jam to my peanut butter. This is amazing. I just absolutely like love it. <laughs> and <laughs> anyways, we're gonna go on to Closer by Tegan and Sarah, another third favorite song of mine this month. It's the most happiest dance track I've ever heard in my life. And 
I just, I love it. Mm -mm. The next one is Swine by Lady Gaga. <laughs> the raspiness she has when she opens up to the, to the chorus, I'm like, I'm just done. <laughs> She's like, let's it all out. It's a really good track. Now, surprisingly, I did not have a food favorite, but I've had a drink favorite. This is the Mighty Leaf Chamomile Citrus Tea. It is an herbal blend of chamomile, orange, and lemon slices. This is a tea I normally like to have before I fall asleep, so it'll help me relax. This is different than one other chamomile tea, I've, chamomile citrus tea I've had featured. Uh, but this is such a unique blend of flavors. I just happen to really like it. And you guys know, I love tea. I do not like coffee. So this happens to be an absolute favorite of mine, the tea. Really, really like it this month. Now, I have had three TV shows I have been loving. Normally, I don't have as many, but I have three. The first one, a friend of mine actually really likes. She knows she really likes it. You know who you are out there. You know who you are. <laughs> but I really like um, this Cartoon Network animated show called The Regular Show. Or just Regular Show or whatnot. It's full of, ra it's full of random humor, which I absolutely love. And all the characters are different, which is why they're not all, they're all, they're, all of them are different. They're not all of them are the same. And yeah, it's just a really funny show. Just make sure not to eat the apple fritters. <laughs> if you know what episode I'm talking about, then you kind of can get what I'm going at. Um, but it's just a funny show. I just really like it. She likes also likes Adventure Time, but I don't really care for it because it's more kid humor. That's why I like regular show more. But yeah, Silly Penny. Silly Lily Penny. It's just funny. It just really, really is. The next one is Impractical Jokers. Another show she told me about. <laughs> um, she let me watch two episodes one day when I was out with her. And I had never laughed so hard in my entire life. They were, a un it's a unique group of guys that play jokes on each other just to embarrass each other as well. And yeah, it's just insanely funny. Another show I've really been digging is Black Box on ABC. It's something different than what I would normally watch from... A, it's a different medical drama. I don't really like medical dramas, but this is different. But this one, it focuses on a character by the name of Catherine. Or that's her name, if I remember correctly. She's like a neurologist or something with neural at the beginning of it. <laughs> and she... You think she's like a normal human when in reality we find out that she deals with bipolar disorder. Hmm. And it's a very interesting show to watch because I have a friend that suffers with it and yeah. <laughs> and many people don't understand what it's like to be in their shoes for a day. You, you know, you just gotta understand what they go through. I mean, you know, they their moods are their moods will elevate from time to time. You just got to under, really understand them as well as I did with my friend. And yeah, it's just a really good show. I highly recommend it if you stay up past 10 o'clock because it's like a really, really good show. But anyways, <laughs> well, where was I going at? Anyways, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed my monthly favorites. Sorry there wasn't as many this month, but you know. Summer's coming. I might have something new for you. <laughs> but, you know. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I will hope to talk to you people soon. Bye!